robot. You're such a cute little robot. So this, is the, this is the prosodies, not the not the phonemes that it's responding to. These are all Very except good. this one woman are naive subjects who don't didn't program the robots. Don't know about. Look at my file. Here we, get, here we ask the people to get the robot's attention and indicate when they thought they had its attention. Thank this you. is going to be important for interacting with the robots. Ah. <laughs> Feet. Feet. I got it. Ah, you see. Give me. Do you like the toy? Oh. So the robot's starting in exactly the same state in each of these trials, but responding to the, to the emotion from the, the person. His, his prohibition... No. And this woman's tough. No. Do not do that. No. Uh-uh. Not appropriate. No. No. She had three, ki three kids under age five, so... Now, here's a common thing. Uh, responding to the robot with imitation. <laughs> Your body. Okay. Uh, so here we, we put all that together. We have naive subjects off the street. We ask them to talk to the robot. We don't tell them the robot doesn't understand a word they're saying. It only understands the prosody. We don't tell them that it's not saying anything in English. It's just babbling English phonemes. About 10% uh, of the people didn't know what to do. 90% of the people understood that they had to take turns with the robot. Half of them didn't know what to talk to the robot about, but half of them just talked to the robot. Here's uh, Richie, who talked for 25 minutes. Um, and notice right at the start, he, he says, I want you to take a look at my watch, and the robot looks at his watch, because he did a thing that we would normally do if, we want to get to, if I want to get Brian's attention. I'll bring my hand, set a line, and I'll make a motion cue. And that's what he did naturally. So people know how to interact with these sorts of things. I almost lost it this week. So it's making eye contact with him, he's making eye contact back. We're very, it's very easy to draw people into social interaction, uh, and which is good if we're going to have robots that are interacting in our homes with us. I'm going to, I'm going to quit that, and I'm over time. Another robot named Domo, Marin Edsinger, 2007. I'll just show you that it's safe to interact with this robot. I won't show you this next long video, but if you Google for, for Domo and Edsinger, you'll find this next long video where uh, he uh, interacts with the robot for five minutes as it helps him do various chores. Uh, so the, the, I want to conclude and, and let you know that I think that a new class of robots has just gotten here, robots that are actually getting deployed in the millions out into our, out into our homes. Uh, there are lots of technologies that are enablers. Um, there's going to be very strong pull for more and more robotics. And using my 50-year uh, technique, I can't imagine that 50 years from now, every, sh every restaurant, every store, every sidewalk entrance out there in San Francisco won't have robots somehow involved. In the same way that 50 years ago, they had nothing to do with computers, and every one of them now has microprocessors in every coffee store, every doorway, etc. So robots are going to be a hero in this 21st century, and they're going to infuse all aspects of our lives. Thank you.